CNN has just learned the fugitive David Sweat has been shot by New York State Police. He has been taken into custody alive. He was shot twice in an open field in the town of Constable that is just two miles south of the Canadian border. He was on the run for 23 days when he was captured. Right now, he is being treated inside of a hospital. The hospital's name, Alice Hyde Medical Center. It is located nearby in Malone, New York. We have full team coverage in the field and here in New York. I want to go first to our Deborah Farrick, who's been working her law enforcement sources. She has learned some extraordinary things just in the past few moments about David Sweat's capture. And what we know is that he was captured uh, wearing camouflage gear. He was in full camouflage gear. He was just a couple of miles from the Canadian border. And it's very interesting because had he been able to cross that Canadian border, uh, law enforcement's ability to follow him would have been much 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 more difficult in order to do so the fact that they got him I'm also learning uh, that apparently he was following a trail it's what's called a fire break that uh, is put between trees so that in the event there's a fire effectively you can stop it and that was the fastest the easiest trail for him to be able to follow but um, he was wearing camouflage gear and we are actually uh, in the process of getting a photograph approved right now he was shot twice He's covered in blood, but there's a photo of him. He's sitting on the ground, his hands behind his back as he's being treated. We are told that it was a New York State trooper uh, who is the one who shot them. And you have to keep in mind that the people who are in that area searching for him, they were the best of the best, all tactical units, people with extreme experience in tracking these individuals, tracking individuals like this. And so uh, we are now told, though, uh, that he is has been taken to the hospital. He was shot twice. And again, he was clearly wearing clothing that he must have stolen from a hunting cabin.